growing up, the world was green outside my bedroom window. The view took in nothing but trees. Every green started at the edge of the ratty lawn below and covered the land between my house and the highway that ran from Rose Road to Diamond Lake. Since you've probably never heard of those places, let's just say from nowhere to nowhere. Trees covered the escarpment that rose from the other side of the North Umpo River. They were all I ever saw when I looked out, unless my view was blocked by low-lying rain with clouds or dense Oregon fog. In certain scenarios, if you're a cat that's too stingy, if you're a man going to collect your grandchild, people might perceive you as a keeper or take some appropriate contact. If, you're, if you have a dual identity, you might look a certain way. People might perceive you to be one and not the other or not recognise that you have those two. So where do we think these things come from? Um, I'm seen. Um, I am a community worker. London. My name is Sabrina Chapp and I am a musician, performer and writer. Modern Art Oxford contacted the Young Women's Music Project and asked us to come in to be a part of the film studio and we've been working with them last year on it and we decided to uh, come back and do a bit of a takeover in the project space. Within the space that we've been able to take over for the week we decided to show different elements of what we're about. The wall behind me has been drawn on by Millie, Beth, Iman and Nikki. So over two half days they just explored those two topics of privilege and self-destruction and put that onto the wall. Um, we've also got a wall of words which is like trigger words people get called on a daily basis and some films that sum up different things that we do like different projects that we run made by Maya Francis and the war, trigger warning wall is by Christian Johnstone. This mural is blowing my mind you know and it of course you know kids have expression but until they quietly draw something and show the world that's in their head, uh, you're not expected to be blown away, but it, I really was, yeah. We decided to make a new film out of the space takeover, and uh, the name is Track Me because it's making a track for documentary, music for documentary. The two workshops that we've that we ran, one was on privilege and one was on creativity and self-destruction. They were topics to write a song for a new film. Yeah, I was, I was uh, Track Me's inspired me because any time that you get kids feeling that they're validated by someplace like the Modern Art Museum, it makes them feel that they can hold any place of power in the world. I think the most important thing to try and get out there is the importance of young people's voices, their thoughts and the worlds in their heads. Um, too many people try and tell kids how they should live their life or what to expect and I think that we can learn a lot from listening and from amplifi amplifying their voices um, and it's, it's a wondrous way to start a conversation and uh, conversations are how change is started so I think it's the best way to be a progressive city is to listen to the youth. What other stories can we give to Ash? So, she could be, to Zara, said Ash, she might be happy being mute. And Jean says, Ash, she's going to be the best for her, right? One of the things I should know is that people have so much knowledge and energy and passion to give. And it's about how do I connect all of that and offer a really good experience for people to reflect and be angry or be happy or be thinking as letting them know it's okay to have those feelings. I'm a white girl. He's a white male, but actually when we broke it down, we looked at it, there's elements of power that he would never have, but there's elements of power that David Cameron would definitely have. I think just coming into this space and like going through the reception and then coming into this space and then seeing like for instance this behind me, this amazing backdrop, seeing his words, his trigger warning, seeing his whole history behind it's a long to see a space used like this by a mega world young people's project and completely change it up and have their stats and their words and who they are. That's pretty amazing. I wanted to come back because I've 
basically worked with the Young Women's Music Project beforehand. It's my third time working with them, and it's a it's an organization that I really deeply care about, and but more so I'm constantly inspired by because not enough people take the time to show our kids how to amplify their voices. And so any time that I'm able to be a part of that, I relearn who I am and the power of my own voice. They decided women would go crazy because their uterus would detach from themselves and travel through their bodies. Like literally, like a, a part of your body would dislocate and, and drive the woman insane. This project has inspired me personally because it's made me realise that the young people that I work with deserve to be in a space like this and that every single young person I work with is amazing and it's made me see what their full potential is.